So cause and effect. But where does the cause begin and where does the effect end? And nobody else is going to pick up the damn sock. So let's do an EFT tapping on this. So taking full responsibility for your own well-being and repeating after me. Let's go with that flow. Let's begin to tap. Even though there is this damn sock and it smells and it's lying on the ground. And I've been meaning to pick it up for a while now. But there it lies, getting in my way, and stinking up my day. And I'm open to loving and accepting myself. Even though I do intend to pick up this sock, and there are a lot of other stuff that's cluttered up that I do intend to clean at one stage. But there it lies, and nobody else will pick up this damn sock. And I'm still open to loving and accepting myself, even though it's cluttering up my day, it's getting in my way, and it's really irritating me. This damn sock that nobody else will clean up. And I'm still open to loving and accepting myself. Nobody else will pick up this damn sock. It's been there for so long. It stinks. I don't like it. There are many aspects about this smelly sock. This dirty sock. That I do not like. I've been meaning to pick it up, put it in the laundry hamper, and give it a clean. One day. One day I'll do it. There's many other things in this house that I've been meaning to attend to, that have been clearing up my day, tripping me up. All these trip hazards. Every time, I, every time I move forward, I trip over something. And I curse myself for not picking it up sooner. Nobody else is going to pick it up. Why won't anyone else pick it up? Where the hell are they? I thought they'd be there for me. To help me. In cleaning up my mess. Nobody else is picking up this damn sock. And that's representative of so much. So much that I've had to put up with in my life. All of this emotional clutter. All this emotional turmoil. And it seems my surroundings, after having to go through so much, is in turmoil. And in such a mess, and I feel in disarray. Nobody else will help me. Or at least it feels that way. Nobody else is going to pick up this damn sock. So there it lies. And I don't feel good about this. And I want to do more with my life. But I have all these hazards in my way. I feel I just don't have the energy. Because it's weighing me down. All of this emotional clutter. All of what I had to go through. All of what I'm living with. It's really a burden. And there's still that damn sock that's lying there. I really hate it. And there's things about myself I don't like. I hate that I can't pick this sock up. I hate that I can't do it. Everyone else can keep their house nice and orderly. But I seem to be such a mess. And the more that I beat myself up, the more that I wear myself out and be become preoccupied with not picking up that damn sock. 
because I'm too busy damning myself. And is that really the motivation I need? To want more with my life? Or is it just adding more clutter around this damn sock? No matter how I got to be this way, I can look to many reasons, and a lot of them are unjust and very unfair, and it shouldn't be my burden to carry. And if I had a different life, I'd have a cleaner house and a better perspective of myself, where I wasn't so much damning of myself. But whatever perceptions I believe in, there's still that damn sock that nobody else would pick up. And perhaps I need to pick up, pick myself up from this hole I've been wearing myself in. I'm going round and round in circles. Perhaps I need another wall to beat my head against. And maybe over time, I can choose softer walls. Until I start to learn that doing the repeated action will just have the same effect. Doing the same cause of beating myself up over not being good enough will have the same effect of being not good enough. Perhaps I want to try something else. But if nobody else will pick up this damn sock, perhaps I can start to pick myself up to pick up that damn sock. And there's a lot of emotional clutter with a lot of labels that when I do pick it up, it tells me that I'm not good enough, that I'm not worthy, and that everyone hates me. And I've been surrounding myself in an environment, maybe dumped upon, that became my internal environment, that was quite a toxic environment, where people told me I was not good enough. And now my internal environment likes to believe that I'm not. And there's some crap that I'd like to kick to the curb so I can have a better belief of myself. I'm going to pick up this damn sock. Because I can wait till tomorrow. And then tomorrow will come. And there's always another better tomorrow. But perhaps today, I want to be the better self for myself. And there's always the cause and effect. But where does the cause begin? And where does the effect end? And do I know my starting point? Or do I find myself within the starting point? And all of a sudden, the sock is in my hand. And I'm going to put it in the laundry hamper. And I'm going to look to all the other emotional crap that's been weighing me down, that's been telling me that I'm not good enough, that's been demanding that I get angry at myself for not being perfect. And in my imperfection, I start to clean up all the defects that's been affecting me. Put other stuff in the hamper. I start to clean up my mess. Because nobody else will do it. Because if someone else did it for me, I learned nothing of that experience. And me doing it for myself, I start to empower myself. I didn't ask for this mess. It's not my responsibility that I received this mess. That was other people's responsibility to clean up. I refuse to be in that toxicity or someone else's blame, shame and guilt. And I start to clean up a little bit more. And I start to chuck away those things that no longer serve me and find other things that do pick me up. 
that do make me feel worthy within myself. I start to believe within myself. And I start to believe that I am capable. And the more that I believe in myself, the more possibilities open up to me. Rather than believe, believing in the obstacles that were getting in my way. The belief by itself will remain a dream of what I want in my life. And all beliefs require action. And I'm taking positive action to clean up some negative reactions that happen to me. And boy, am I making some space within myself. I can see the floor. I can see the walls. I can see what I want in my dream home. But most of all, I can see myself and how I want to be within myself and have more space to receive more of my life and have the space to be more within my life. I'm giving a damn about myself by picking myself up in mind, body, and spirit. And taking a full breath in. Yeah. So yes, unfortunately, no one else will take care of our responsibilities and how we receive things is unfortunate and it is not um, asked for, but whether we decide to stay within that or we start to give a damn about ourselves and start to empower ourselves to become more than the experiences that happen to us. So I'm Dion from Evolution Support Services, uh, for EFT tapping one on one online to help empower people so check out evolution support services.com and i'll definitely catch you in the next one and keep going with flow with the other videos